the 90-10 rule. That's the conversation we're going to have here today on Self-Love Monday. How you guys doing? This is Ron Simplified Myers, author, podcaster, and your uplifting life partner. Now, this 90-10 rule works in relationships. It also works in the way that you see yourself in your daily activities. Because as we know, the only things that we have control over, we can't do anything about the past because it is the past. We can't do anything about the future because it is in promise. So the only thing we have any control over is the present. Now, what does, why is that important? Because the 90-10 rule is basically talking about as you guys know, 90% of the things that we worry about never, ever happen. That's why you hear the saying that a, a hero dies, a death dies once, and a coward dies many deaths. The reason is a lot of things that we spend our time worrying about never, ever happens. That's why I live in a world where I, if I can do something about it, I do it. And if I can't, I move on. The reason is sitting back and worrying about it is not going to change the situation. Uh, pouting, complaining is not going to change the situation. Again, if I could do something about it, let's, make, let's take some action, get something done. And if I can't, I have to move on because I can't do anything about it. So that's one way of seeing the 90-10 rule. And, and, and for me... The thing I really uh, like to look at is if you look at life from a 90-10 perspective, and that's that 90% of the things that do happen in your life, you have the ability to be grateful because they are good things that are going on in your life. For example, you woke up this morning. You're able to watch this video. However or wherever you're watching it, you have access to the... Uh, the media that will allow you to do that. You have the ears to actually hear me uh, talk. You have the eyes to maybe see it if you're watching it from a video perspective. Uh, you have the mouth to eat. You have, you know, we can go on and on. The shoes to wear, the clothes to wear, the house to sleep in. Uh, and you just go on and on and you'll realize you have so much in your life to be grateful for. But the challenge is... And, and this would be 90%, but we'll just use 9 out of 10 to make it easy. If 10 things are going on in your day, and 9 of those things, which is 90%, 9 of those things are incredible, or even just good. But one thing didn't go the way that you wanted to. What is your focus going to be on? The one thing. We have to learn how to stop doing that and focus on the 90%. This also holds true in um, relationships. It has been said that the reason relationships work well in the beginning is because you focus on the 90%, the 9 out of 10 things, that they do that's okay or that you like or that you're tolerable or whatever, that's acceptable. But the 10%, that 1 out of 10 things that they're doing that you don't even agree with may, for some of you, even be a red flag. You're willing to uh, uh, ignore those in the beginning. But what happens is in the long run, people start to focus on the 10% and they forget about the 90. And that's when relationships start to break down. Again, because you're starting to focus on the things that you shouldn't be. And I, and I shouldn't say that because sometimes that 10%, especially in relationships, which is the red flag, should have been 100% for you. <laughs> as soon as they you saw that particular characteristic, that's why it's a red flag, you should have broke off that relationship or never even started that relationship. But you chose to ignore that 10%. And you played around with the 90 and said, but they're okay. I mean, everything else is good except. And in this particular instance, that except is not good. So the 90-10 works in different ways. You guys can see in some arenas, it's a good thing to focus on the 
some things you better you better make sure you recognize that ten percent because that ten percent maybe <laughs> especially in relationships uh the red flags should be a hundred percent um but anyway, know the difference knowing how to be grateful, knowing how to focus on the 90%. Because again, if you go talk to counselors, especially again, if we're talking about relationships, you'll see that they're always talking about, well, what brought you together? What enticed you about the person when you got together and that type of stuff? What they're doing is getting you to focus on the 90% to get your focus off of the 10%. They're teaching you how to be grateful, how to have gratitude, how to be uh, excited about the situation. And that holds true in your own personal life is you have to learn how to become the focus of your life, of your day, is on the good things. Uh, the fact that you're still here. Uh, again, the fact that you're breathing. Even if things, uh, like I always say, and you guys have heard me say before, even when things don't go the way that I want them to do, I want them to. <laughs> my thought process is everything works in my favor, always has, always will. This is one of the reasons, that, again, why I don't focus on the 10% that most people get stuck on. Because even when it happens and it didn't go the way it's planned, I instantly start to have that conversation with myself. And that's what allows me personally to keep moving forward. Because I'm not going to sit here and whine about the 10%. The things, especially if it's something I have no control over. When I got all the 90% to be grateful for and understanding that that 10% that I could focus on is actually going to work out in my favor when it's all said and done. And that's the way I see it. Um, some people want to call that being positive. Okay, if that works for you. Some things it's not about being positive. It's understanding it is what it is. Now, if you want to call that positive, okay, let's go with positive. But if I have a choice on being positive or negative, why would I choose negative? Think about that. Because it's amazing when I hear people say that. They, you're always thinking positive. So what do you want me to do? Focus on being negative? What? How does that serve me? <laughs> does that make sense? So if, if that's the choice, I got positive or negative, why don't I focus on positive? But anyway, the idea behind this particular conversation, the reason we're having the 90-10 is because it's the same thing about you and looking in the mirror. The person in the mirror, you can see all the things about yourself that you like. And maybe your weight is not where you want it to be. Or maybe you're, you know, you got the little, like I got the little, little, whatever those little black spots or whatever on your face. You may look at that and just go, oh, it takes away from my, my beauty or whatever. And you want to focus on that. And that will allow you to get down and to get negative. And my thing is, I don't focus on those things. I just focus on, again, that's a part of me. That's who I am. And I love that guy in the mirror. And, uh, and so what I'm telling you here, and that's, again, the reason for this conversation is do not spend your time focused on the things you can't control, which is usually the 10%. Focus on the things that you can be grateful for, which is the 90%. And you'll watch how your life starts to change in a direction that, um, that you never even thought possible. And one of the things I used to use in my training is I would tell people, the way you find out how you think is you could do an exercise and... And you can do it for a couple of minutes, but most of you, you'll figure it out in the first 10 to 15 seconds. And by that, listen to your thoughts that are going on in your head. And the first thought pops up, you go, was that a positive or was that a negative? Is that a moving forward thought or is that a, a, that a thought that's going to keep me where I'm at or going to pull me down? And for most people, it's going to be negative, 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 negative. Oh, there's something that was positive, negative, negative. So that's why I said for most people in the, in the first 10 to 15 seconds, you're done because you already know there's no way based on all the negative thoughts that just popped up, there's no way the positive is going to catch up. Even if I sat here for the next two minutes, the positives aren't going to catch up because they're falling so far behind on the, on the point scale that I realize, whoo, I live in a negative environment. And folks, if you fit that, welcome to the normal way of thinking. I shouldn't say normal the programming way of thinking in the society in which we live. And the whole concept here is to make, as we always say, make the unnormal or the familiar unfamiliar. In other words, let's reprogram, let's move away from most thoughts being negative 
to changing that to most of our thoughts being positive. And the way that we do that is when we catch that negative thought, how can we rewrite that in a way that we're grateful? You know what I mean? It's kind of like I've told you guys, when I look at it, when I think of even, you know, the loss of, of, of Terry, I can sit back and I can go down that path when I get to that fork in the road and I can get negative and go, she's not here. Um, it's not fair. Why did this happen? I can go down that path and get totally depressed. Or I can be grateful I got 32 years. You guys follow me? So when you get to that fork in the road, this is my point. As soon as those conversations come up, just go, okay, which which way could I go with this that's going to empower me? And the only reason I use the example is Terry because that's that's worst case that you get to those kind of conversations. That's when it's really where it could be uh, uh, tragic for you. And I'm telling you that the, the direction I go. So you know any of the other normal day-to-day -day thoughts I could get through easily because if I could get through the tough ones, that by doing that, the normal challenges that we have, they, they, they become really stuff that you start to laugh at. You go, really? I, I used to would get down or negative about that and you go, really? That, that's not even that important. That's not that serious. Why was I getting ready to go down that path? And what you'll end up doing is you'll see how things start to change in your life and how you start to attract more of the things that you want. Why? Gratitude. It's the number one thing to, to getting the things that you want in life. And I always use the example, if you're a parent, who do you want to do more for? Your kid that's grateful or your kid that has a, a, a think they're privileged and have an expectation that everything's supposed to be given to them. You're going to always look for the child that's grateful and want to do more for them. The universe works the same way. So learn when you come across that 90-10. Get better, better at pushing that, that arrow, that uh, meter from 90 and pushing it closer to 100% of the things to be gr grateful for and be excited about. And don't let it go be below the 90. <laughs> and if you do catch those negative things, just start to do the reprogramming. And that holds true in your relationships. Understand when you get to that 90-10 in your relationship, understand the reason you guys are having the challenges is because you're starting to focus on the 10% of things you don't agree with and you forgot about the things that have caught you. That's why, I mean, that brought you guys together. And that's why I tell people, you could actually get your relationship on track without the help of outside people if you guys are both willing to be honest and straightforward and have a conversation with each other and you're both committed to the relationship because that's what's going to happen. You're going to go, okay. Here's the challenge. Let's deal with this because we have so much more to be grateful for. Let's address the thing that's not working. And because we're committed to each other, we can work through those. Because, folks, it's usually, unless it's a major red flag, then, like I said, it ain't a 10 percenter anymore. <laughs> it's moving over to the 90, 100 percent that it's a red flag or something. And maybe it's something that you shouldn't be in that relationship. So, but anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Learn how to use the 90-10 rule in your favor when you come across things. Recognize how do I get on, on the 90% side of the gratitude and being grateful conversation and spend less time living in the 10%. Use that exercise that I just shared. Just do that for yourself real quick just to see where you hang out. Most of you are going to be totally surprised because especially those of you like me who thinks they're totally positive, and when I've done that extra, and even sometimes I still do it for myself and I just go, whoa, I'm like, Ron, man, you, you need to work on this stuff. And folks, I, I believe I'm a very positive person and I'll be in those moments where everything that's popping up is, is negative. Things that not grateful, no gratitude. Recognize those and get back on the gratitude train. All right, for those of you that uh, I look forward to seeing you on Thursday for Relationship Thursday, and you guys don't always remember it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It is my opinion. And again, I look forward to seeing you on Thursday. And get run over to ronsimplifiedmyers.online. Again, that's ronsimplifiedmyers.online and see the things that I got going on. And uh, as you guys know, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. Make sure you focus on that 90% because, folks, if you live in that arena, your life will be incredible. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.